Hola, 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 and buenas nachos. You've waited long enough. I am back with a new cooking video. Some of you will be jumping for joy. Some of you will not give a rat's behind. Baby, whatever your poison, I am glad you're back. And I'm sure you're glad that I'm back. Anyways, you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Yes, I've been away for a while, and those of you that follow me on my social media will know what the deal is. I've had a couple of acting gigs that I had to uh, go and do because I am a trained actor, yes, and um, I'm also working on some new music. In addition to that, I've had some personal setbacks. We've had a death um that we had to you know honor and all of that stuff it wasn't pleasant but you know death never is but anyways may she rest in peace um on top of that life continues to happen and if you've been on my channel since the beginning you will know that when i i always tell you that when life happens everything else takes a back seat okay i'm not interested in doing cooking videos i'm not interested in doing anything pertaining to video editing or keeping people updated by way of a video no i will share something on my instagram or my facebook page because it's quicker and faster and easier okay now if you don't follow me on any of those platforms yet, I would be very honored and most grateful if you do, or if you would, and if you don't wanna do that, I would be most grateful and welcome you here on this platform anyways. So, having said all of that, you guys, on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I am going to cook something that we and our family cook this way, okay? So I'm gonna share with you how we cook this recipe our way. Of course, in my country, people add or leave out certain ingredients, but this is the way my mother cooks sauerkraut. Or if you want to call it pickled cabbage, I'm totally fine with that, okay? Now, in Europe and in America, up here in the West, when people eat sauerkraut, they just take it out of the, um, the container that it's in because it's um, kind of... Um, cured with salt I believe or vinegar or something I, I don't know the process but it tastes kind of different and it's slightly tart if you will but up here when they eat it they eat it just like that you know they take it straight out of the, the, the jar and then they put it on their hot dogs or whatnot back in my country we don't eat it like that no we soak it in water we get rid of all the excess salt and all the excess vinegar and all of that and then we drain it and then we stew it with some meat, some onion, some garlic, some tomato, a scotch bonnet, pepper, and then we eat it with rice. So I'm gonna show you today how we, in my family, how we cook sauerkraut. If you wanna call it pickled cabbage, like I said, I'm totally cool with that. In Dutch, it is called zuurkool, okay? Now I'm gonna cook this with some smoked chicken and some sweet potatoes. So without further ado, let us continue you okay beautiful people so what we have here is my sauerkraut or pickled cabbage if you will i have already opened this pack i'm going to use two packs today and per pack it's about 500 grams so let's go ahead and pour the cabbage into the bowl and next what we're going to do we're going to pour some water onto the cabbage and we're going to allow this to soak for a good hour to an hour and a half all right you guys so my sauerkraut has been soaking in this basin of water for a good two hours now and if you like your sauerkraut to be a little tart you can go ahead and leave it a little less than two hours you can leave it for an hour or maybe even a half an hour depending on how you like it so next what i'm going to do i am going to rinse this in a colander and set it to one side to drain completely there we go and you want to give it a good rinse and then you set it to one side to drain completely now when you taste this you will notice that it still has that tart flavor but trust me when I tell you it is going to blend perfectly well with the flavor of the smoked chicken and the sweet potatoes okay you guys so what I have here are my white sweet potatoes which I have washed and I never peel my sweet potatoes if you peel your sweet potatoes when you cook this dish your sweet potatoes are going to fall apart and that is not what you want all right so what I'm gonna do next I'm going to remove the ends of the sweet potato just like that and do not use the red um, or the orange sweet potatoes you guys because 
they never survive the cooking process I can tell you that so what I'm gonna do is I am going to cube my sweet potatoes something like this so there we go I ended up using three sweet potatoes instead of four because that would be too much alright so next what we're gonna do we're gonna saute the onions the garlic the tomatoes and the scotch bonnet pepper and continue with this dish because I am hungry alright party people now what I have here is my smoked chicken and you can substitute this smoked chicken for regular chicken if you so desire or even salted beef but I guarantee you that the smoky flavor of this chicken combined with the tartness of the cabbage and the sweetness of the sweet potatoes will generate such an explosion of flavors on your palate you have no idea okay now let's continue all right you guys so you know the drill what we're gonna do next we're gonna saute the onions and the garlic and the tomato and the scotch bonnet pepper you've seen me do this a thousand times so in the interest of time I'm going to skip these steps all right all right so it's been about four minutes to this goodness I'm gonna add some crushed pepper and give it a good stir you know how we do over here there we go and next what we're gonna add is the smoked chicken We're also going to give this a good stir. Just like that. And then we're going to cover the pot and allow this to simmer on medium heat for about five minutes. So it's been about a couple of minutes and as you can see the smoked chicken is almost done. Um, it doesn't need a hell of a lot of cooking. What we're going to add next are the sweet potatoes like that and we're also going to add a droplet of water. Of course we're going to stir this nicely. And then we're going to cover the pot and allow to simmer for a good 5 to 10 minutes on medium heat. Okay, you guys, now let's check on our sweet potatoes. This is looking good. Yes, they look perfect. Now let me test them with a fork. Oh, yes, these are good. So next what I'm going to add is one chicken stock cube and you want to be very mindful with your salt intake you guys because the smoked chicken already contains a lot of salt. Alright? Keep that in mind. We're going to give it a quick stir. And to this now we are going to add the cabbage. Baby, let me tell you, it smells so good up in here. Mm. And you know the drill. We're going to stir this into the meat and the potatoes. There we go. This is looking good. It is smelling good. I cannot wait. But next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the pot and I'm going to allow this to simmer anywhere between five to seven minutes before digging in. All right, all right. And now for the final presentation. When it's all done, it should look a little something like this. Baby, I tasted it. It is dbomb.com. All right, that's all you need to know. And there you have my delicious sauerkraut with smoked chicken and sweet potatoes. Honey, let me tell you, this thing is thebomb.com. And I want you to expand your food horizons and try this and let me know how it turned out. Okay? Now, I'm going to say thank you for watching this video. I am very happy that you're still here because I've been away for almost a month. Thank you to new subscribers. Welcome to the mayhem. I will see you on another video. I cannot promise you when but I will be back before the end of the year. All right? Thank you so much for watching, you guys. 
happy cooking, happy eating. Don't you add crazy to the craziness, and I will see you when I see you. Bye.